Welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen and this is Jen Clayton Beauty and I'm here with some empties. And when I say empties, I mean a lot of empties. Are you ready? Look at how full this basket is. It is over full. These are my empties for February. This is everything I used up for the month. Beauty, makeup, skincare, hair care, body care. It's in this basket and I'm going to share I'm going to be giving you speed reviews of everything I used up. I'll let you know what I repurchase, what I not repurchase, and I'll give you, like I said, a little speed review of each item. I will also link everything I used up down below for you if you're interested in picking up any of these products for yourself. So if you're excited for another empties, give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe, turn your bell on because I upload lots and lots of new videos every single week. And I will link all of the empties down below for you, as well as all of my favorite beauty subscription boxes, all of the makeup that I'm wearing in today's video, if you would like to shop this look, discounts to my favorite indie brands, and come follow me over on TikTok for more beauty and makeup. So let's jump in to my massive basket of February empties. to do is just pull items out again give you a speed review and let you know if I will be repurchasing I will say also on a side note that I'm thrilled with how much I used up I am going through my makeup and skincare collection. I actually just organized it all labeled all my drawers and my big goal for this year is to utilize what I have before purchasing any other products. So a big full basket like this makes my heart really happy. So let's start with lashes and there's a high likelihood that there's more lashes in the bottom of this basket, but these are the two that are sitting on top. How I determine if lashes are used up is after I've used them between three and five times, they become a little bit more caked with glue, they lose their shape, they're hard to put on, they don't look as natural, and then they go into my empties. So one of the lashes that I used up from Aloha Beauty and these are Go Against the Green Lashes. Aloha Beauty is actually an indie brand that came in Lashy Box when I was subscribed to them. These lashes are stunning. And then I used up from Ioni, which is my favorite lash brand. You can buy these at the Dollar Tree. Literally the best lashes. These are the protection lashes, which are nice and bold and deep and dark. So I used both pairs up. I also finished up the Strawberry Pound Cake Body Cream from Bath & Body Works. I actually just finished this yesterday. This smells literally like strawberry shortcake. It is delicious. Every time I put this on, my husband was like, you smell so fruity. This is a fantastic lotion. And like I always say, I like their body cream. I don't like their lotion, but I love their body cream. And these are always in my empty. So strawberry pound cake, done. I also finished up this little hair mask. I think this came in an Ulta kit or Sephora kit. This is from the brand Not Your Mother's Tough Love. This is the Intense Bonding Treatment. This is a pre-shampoo. So I actually put this in my hair before I washed my hair hair. To be honest with you, I don't know that I noticed the difference. I know that it's supposed to clarify and add some hydration to your hair before you're washing it. Like I said, I don't know if I noticed the difference, so I don't think that I would repurchase this. Not to mention I'm really not into pre-shampoo products. It's truly an extra step that I can't be bothered with. Speaking of shampoo, I did use up the Batiste Original Dry Shampoo. I like Batiste. My only issue with Batiste is it leaves a white cast on my really dark hair. So it's not my favorite dry shampoo, but it's an affordable drugstore dry shampoo. So I would buy it again. I know that they have a dark version, which is probably what I would pick up next time because that way it eliminates that white cast. But it's a great dry shampoo. It works. It doesn't leave my hair feeling heavy and it soaks up any oils. And in my case, a lot of sweat from working out. This I love. This is from Tree Hut. This is the their moisturizing shave oil and this is in the tropic glow scent this is their dupe for the Sol de Janeiro Boom Boom Cream, and I do like this. This shaving oil is phenomenal. It adds hydration to your skin, helps prevent any lumps and bumps from shaving. I love, love, love their shave oil. I've already repurchased it in the watermelon scent. I will say I like the watermelon scent better than the Tropic Glow, but if you love the Sol de Janeiro scent, you will love this because it's Tree Hut's version, but I can't recommend the shaving oil enough. From Wet n Wild, I use the Essence Liquid Primer. Now this came in my little Wet n Wild advent calendar. This is okay. I didn't really notice much priming benefits of this. It is definitely liquidy. It's literally a essence liquid. Like it says, the consistency of a toner. It's 
not any thicker than a toner. So I don't love it. I prefer a thicker primer and I actually like a primer that adds hydration or glow to my skin or a dewiness. So I wouldn't repurchase this. If you want something that's just going to add a base before makeup, this is an affordable option from Wet n Wild. Another hair product is from Bondi Boost. This is their Miracle Hair Mask. It smells really good, kind of beachy, tropical. This is great. This came from Sephora. It's a great hair mask. I am a big proponent of hair masks. I use them multiple times. I wash my hair once a week and every other week I use a hair mask. I have dry hair, so it adds that boost of hydration and I really like this. Everything from the scent of it to how well it works, I would definitely buy this again. Let's keep going with hair products. I finished finally. I've had this forever. This is from the brand Way, and this is their detox shampoo. So this is their shampoo that's supposed to detox your hair. Basically strip it of all the built up product. This works amazing. If you want to strip your hair of a lot of buildup and product, I highly recommend this. Now, I wouldn't use this every time you wash your hair. Like I said, I wash my hair once a week and I would use this once a month. So if you're someone that washes your hair daily, maybe every three to five washes, I would use this or when you feel like you have a lot of product buildup. But this is fantastic. Now I've used the Olaplex and I've used the Way, and I like the Way much better. We're going to keep going with hair products because I see a few more here. First up is from the brand Rusk. This is their shine spray. I love this shining spray. This is so hard to find. You used to be able to find this at Walmart and drugstores. I looked everywhere online and ended up ordering it off of eBay. This is amazing. If you want something that's going to add a shine to your hair, is so lightweight, it's not going to weigh your hair down, it's not going to make your hair greasy, it's actually what I have in my hair today to add a little bit of shine. Like I said, I have really dry, kind of frizzy hair, so I use a shine spray every day and I love this. It's my all time favorite. It's affordable and I think it works really, really well, especially if you have fine hair. You don't want an, a shine spray that's going to weigh your hair down. You will love this. So I'll see if I can find this somewhere online other than eBay and link it for you. Except for hair is my all time favorite hairspray. I love this. This is the only hairspray I buy. This is from Bedhead and this is the Masterpiece Extra Strength Hold. I love this hairspray because a very little bit goes a long way and she holds your hair in place all day long. Now, I don't use a lot of hairspray, so I want what I do use to keep my hair in place. And this is my all-time favorite hairspray. I've repurchased it. I will always repurchase it. I buy it right off of Ulta. I used up a lot of hair products and I'm, I'm not mad about it because I have a lot in my backup. So we're going through things. Next up comes from the brand Milkshake and this is the Amazing Anti-Humidity Protection Styling Spray. So this is basically for heat protection and also prevents frizziness. The anti-humidity is going to help prevent your hair from getting static and frizzy. I really, really like the Milkshake brand. I actually used up a second Milkshake brand product. When I lived in Washington before I, but when I, about a few, a few years ago, my hairstylist at the time swore by Milkshake brand products. So I purchased a bunch from her and I really like them. This is a great product. It's a great heat protectant spray. Again, it doesn't add any weight to your hair. So it's great if you have fine hair and it just protects your hair from frizziness, humidity, and heat. And then the other milkshake product that I used up, and I really love this one, this is the Incredible Milk Leave-In Spray. This smells so good. It smells like banana caramel, vanilla. It just smells really sweet, very gourmand, very yummy. This is a great leave-in conditioner. I've already repurchased this. I love it. Again, a little goes a long way. I would typically spray it in my hands and then rub my hands together and then disperse it through my hair. I really like this. Really, really like this already repurchased. I think that's all I see right now for hair care. There may be more in here. Let's move on to the Item Beauty Sleek, Slick Type Cleansing Balm. This is okay. I remember the smell. Yeah, I remember not loving the smell. It smells like roses and I do not like rose scented things at all. This worked really well. It was a great cleansing balm. I am not picky on my cleansing balm. I just want something that's going to break down my makeup. I double cleanse every single night. So I start with a cleansing balm, then go in with a foaming cleanser. This worked great. I don't love the smell of it. And for that reason, I probably wouldn't repurchase it, but it's a pretty affordable cleansing balm and it was effective. So if you don't mind the scent of rose, you may really enjoy it. Next up is a moisturizer. This is from the brand Astexanthin. It's spelled A-S-T-A-X-A-N-T-H-I-N. I have no idea how to pronounce that. This is the Collagen All-in-One Gel, and then it says DHC. So maybe the brand is DHC. It is made in Japan, so I believe that this is Korean skincare. This was my 
This smells really good, kind of like a very light orange scent. I use this as my nighttime moisturizer. I've actually went through a full one of these in the past. They came in a subscription box. I like this. It's definitely hydrating, but it is the consistency of a water cream, so it's not super thick. I do prefer a thicker nighttime moisturizer, but I use this based on the collagen aspect of it, and it did add a lot of hydration to the skin. I wouldn't repurchase it because I don't know how... I don't know if I would repurchase it. I don't know how easy it is to come by. It came in a subscription box. It's Korean skincare, but I did enjoy it. We have one sheet mask. I swear I'm going to be better at using sheet masks. I have a lot of them. This one I did use though, and this is from the Creme Shop, and this is the Baby It's Gold Outside 24 Karat Gold in Collagen Firming and Moisturizing Face Mask. This was great. This came in a subscription box. It added hydration. I felt like it definitely juiced up my skin a little bit. I would buy this again, but I'm not buying any masks because I have a lot of them, but I'm glad that I used this finally. I think I've had this for over a year, so I'm glad we at least used up one face mask in February. From Pharmacy, this is the Daily Greens All-in-One Gel Moisturizer. I love this product. It smells so good. It smells apple-y kind of and then grassy. I don't know. It has a really good fresh scent to it. This is, an again, a gel-like moisturizer. I use it during the day to, as my daytime moisturizer. Layers beautifully under makeup. I love pharmacies products in general, the Daily Greens included. I found another hair product, this time from Olaplex, and this is the number seven hair bonding oil. I guess there's a tiny bit left. I can't get it out, though. I have shaked and shaked and... It doesn't come out, but I actually really like this product for a hair oil. Now, I use this on my wet hair, very little of it. I mean, I've had this for well over a year, just a few drops, and I focus that in the ends of my hair, and it just helps add in a little bit of oil and hydration. I would repurchase this. I have a small little one that came in, it. I think, probably an advent calendar that I'm using, but I will definitely repurchase this. It's one of the products, really one of the only products from Olaplex that I use and enjoy. One of my favorite setting sprays is the Urban Decay All Nighter. So I use this up. I really like this setting spray. She locks in your makeup. I mean, the All Nighter is a true claim. This locks your makeup in all day, all night. I love it. Like I said, one of my favorites. Definitely will repurchase. Have already repurchased. Also a repurchase. Currently using a backup is my favorite sunscreen of all time. Face sunscreen, I should say. This is from Sunbum, and this is the Glow 30. This is the most beautiful, wonderful, glowy sunscreen. I put sunscreen on my face every single day. I live in a warm climate. I sit in front of a window. I am very particular about protecting my face from the sun, and this is my favorite. It puts this beautiful glow to the skin. It has virtually no smell, so if you're sense, it doesn't have a smell to it, so if you're sensitive to scented skincare, you will love this. If you love glowy, if you want SPF 30 protection, I love this. It layers so perfectly under makeup. It doesn't pill at all, which is what I find with a lot of other sunscreens. It's affordable. Love, love, love. If you haven't tried this, it is linked below. Try it. A few travel size things that I finished in February. I did take a trip to Atlanta for a little girls weekend, and I used up a lot of travel size things on that trip. First is from Elemis. This is their Superfood Glow Priming Moisturizer. I love this because it adds a glow, especially if you are a no makeup girl and you don't wear a lot of foundation or complexion products. You will love this because it adds moisture and a beautiful, beautiful glow. It is a daytime moisture moisturizer for me. Love it. Would buy the full size. I actually have a couple more of the small sizes and this lasts forever. A little of this goes a long way. Love. And then I also finished up the Rare Beauty Primer. This is okay. This is more of a mattifying primer. I prefer more of a glowy primer. If you love a matte primer though, this one is great. It's a gel-like consistency and again, it's beautiful with makeup. So I would buy this again it, in the glowy version. I believe they have a hydrating or dewy version, but it is a great primer. And then from Lancome, this is the Genifique Serum. This is a great serum. She a pricey serum, but she's a great serum. And I love getting these little sample sizes from Ulta beauty boxes or free gifts from Ulta subscription boxes. I do really enjoy this. I use this at night and I would invest in the full size. It's a great serum. And then lastly is this little teeny brow gel. This is from Anastasia Beverly Hills and it's their tinted brow gel. And this is just the baby one and I love it. I love a good tinted brow gel. I have cray cray eyebrows. They're, they're crazy so I have to use a brow gel and I prefer one that's tinted. It just helps fill in these sparse areas. So yeah, I would definitely buy this. More skincare. This is from Selfless by Hiram. This is the Retinol and Rainbow LG Serum in collaboration with the Inky List. I'm pretty sure Selfless by Hiram is no more. I don't think this skincare line 
exists anymore. I didn't love this. I noticed no difference with this. Yeah, not my favorite serum. I would absolutely not repurchase. I do love the Inky List though, but the Selfless by Hiram, not a fan. As always, one Dossier perfume down. This is the Fruity Magnolia. Dossier replicates high-end fragrances. And I love this for day-to-day -day wear. I use a high-end perfume when I'm going out and about, or I really want my scent to last. This lasts, but certainly not as long as a high-end perfume. You do have to reapply, but it is so affordable. And if you're balling on a budget and you don't want to buy high-end perfume, this is a great option. I do have a 5% discount code for Dossier. I'll link it for you, but you can find a lot of high-end replicated perfumes. They smell amazing. I love the packaging. I love the magnetic lid. You see, an, you see one of these in my empties every month because I use this pretty regularly. Anytime that I want to smell good before bed, before a workout, randomly throughout the day, if I'm staying home, I will use my Dossier fragrances. Next, this is the Bachuchiol Serum. Now, Bachuchiol is a lighter, less intense version of retinol, but as effective as retinol. It's a great serum, but Chukil Oil is a fantastic skincare product. And I really like this Farm X. This came in a subscription box. I actually have another one. Don't ask me why I had two, but I do. I found it when I was organizing my serums, but I really like this. I was utilizing this as a daytime serum just to add a little bit of hydration and to kind of get the benefits of retinol. Be mindful of retinol in the sun though. Make sure that you're using a sunscreen if you're using a retinol product at all. But I like this. I don't know the price point of this, but I would definitely repurchase. I am on a lip no buy because I have so many lip products. That's another one of my big goals this year is to get through my lip products. And I finished up a lip oil from Kosas. This is just their clear lip oil. I wanna say this is a sample size. I don't think this is a full size. It smells like vanilla cupcakes. It's their wet lip oil. This was okay. There's other lip oils that I prefer over the Kosas, but this is a mainstream product you can find at Sephora. It was okay. I probably wouldn't repurchase even if I wasn't on a lip no buy because like I said, there's lip oils that I prefer over this one, but it wasn't bad. It's just not my favorite. One, two, three mascaras down. Now, I know, two of them are small sizes, but we still used up three mascaras. First is from Wet n Wild. This is the Mega Volume Mascara. This also came in my Wet n Wild Advent Calendar. I like this mascara. I don't love this mascara. I will say that it definitely gave my lashes volume, but I had to use a lot of it to build up the volume and to build up the darkness and the thickness. It's affordable, so if you, again, are balling on a budget, you may really like this. I probably wouldn't repurchase. I would rather buy maybe the Essence slash Princess Mascara, get the same effect with less work essentially. And then I finished the Maybelline Sky High Mascara, the small size. I had never tried this mascara and this was so weird when I first used it because the wand of it, I don't know if you can see, but it's really flexible. And I think that is to just really get in there and add in that volume. I really liked this. It took some practice with that more flexy wand, but this, I see why this went viral. It's a great mascara. I would absolutely buy the full size and it's drugstore. And then from Fenty Beauty, this is the Hella Thick Mascara. This is really good, like really, really good. I've used other Fenty mascaras and I prefer the Hella Thick. I love the wand of this. It's a nice, thick wand, so you're really able to get in there and pack in the mascara. 100% would buy the full size. Um, Rachel Couture, this is the Translucent Setting Powder. Now this came in an AIA Beauty box. I don't know whatever happened to that box. They kept saying that they were gonna bring the box back. It's never come back. I think they've been saying that for almost a year now. I don't think it's coming back. And I did like that box because it would be a beauty subscription box full of one brand. And you would get just a bunch of products from the brand. So you could really try the brand out, see if you liked it. Well, one of the brands we got was Rachel Couture. I didn't like a lot of the things, spoiler alert, like the eyeshadow palette was awful, but the powder was actually really nice. Now I probably wouldn't buy this. I don't know how readily available this is. I don't know the price point, but it was a good powder. It wasn't great, it was good. And again, this is the translucent setting powder. From Melt Cosmetics, this is the sex foil and this is in the shade Afterglow. So this is basically a luminizer and I mix a liquid illuminizer, liquid highlight, liquid glow in with my foundation every day because I love glowy. I love to be glowy and dewy looking and I do like the I do like the Melt Sex Foil. It's a big container, so it lasts a long time. It has a pump top. 
It blends in beautifully with foundation. You can also use this all over the face with no makeup for a little bit of a glow, and it does have a little bit of a tint to it, and you can also use this as a tap-in liquid highlight. So I do like this. I actually have another one of these in my backups, and I would repurchase it. It's a great product. I found another pair of lashes. These are the Michaela lashes from Glamlight. I think these came in my foodie box that I got from Glamlight. Love these. I actually really like these lashes because this is my preferred. This kind of dark dark, spiky lash. It's similar to the ones that I have on today. I did like these a lot and I don't know that they're still available, but if they were, I would absolutely buy these again. And I use a discount for Glamlight, so you get 15% off site-wide. So I may actually go see if these are still, still available because one of my favorite lashes that I've used. One more trial size thing that I forgot about that I didn't notice because it's a pretty good size trial size. This is from Grown Alchemist and this is their Gentle Cleanser. Grown Alchemist is a pricey brand. This cleanser, it was fine. It was fine, it was a cleanser. It has kind of a flowery, fruity scent. It's not a bad scent at all, definitely not like a rose scent. It was okay, it was a cleanser. It cleansed my skin. For the price point of this brand, I would not buy this again, most likely, because I'm just assuming this is a little bit pricey. And I actually have a second one of these in my cleanser trial size backups. It took my makeup off, but probably not a repurchase for me. I did finish from Bath & Body Works a little sample of their Kaleidoscope hand cream. I keep a hand cream in my purse and my car, and this one was in my car. And so I finished using this up. It smells amazing. It's fruity, but then it has a lotion scent. If you know what I mean, like if you buy just not an unscented lotion, but just a lotion that doesn't have a distinct scent and it just smells like lotion, I'm probably making no sense. But anyways, that's what this smells like with a little bit of a fresh scent. I do like this scent a lot. I would definitely buy it again. I, like I said, I love their hand creams and their body creams. Found another small one. This is from Burt's Bees. This is the Gentle Cream Cleanser. I remember that I finished this and this on my trip to Atlanta because this one was almost gone. I do not like this. I want a cleanser that's going to suds up. I want some suds. Like I want to really clean my face. This doesn't suds up at all. It's 100% a cream cleanser. You just rub it into your skin with no suds. It takes off your makeup, but I don't like it at all. I much prefer a sudsy cleanser. So I prefer the Grown Alchemist over the Burt's Bees. So this is not a repurchase for me. Another mascara. I forgot that I finished this. I was actually sad when I finished this mascara because I love it. This is from Pat McGrath and this is the Dark Star Mascara. This mascara is so good. It adds volume, length, darkness. It's one coat wonder. Like you need one coat and you get everything you'd ever want from your lashes. Love the wand. I love that it's a little bit more fluffy wand. Love this. Love, love, love. I know Pat McGrath is a little bit pricey, but the mascara actually is not a bad price. It's doable. It's on par with Sephora Ulta mascaras. It's more expensive than drugstore, but it's not as expensive as high-end brands like YSL, Hourglass. It's kind of right in the middle. Love this. 100% will be buying this again when I need another mascara. And actually the Sephora sales coming up, I may pick up one or two. Another Wet n Wild product from my advent calendar. So I actually use the primer, the mascara, and the lip gloss. This lip gloss smells so good. It is like vanilla cupcake and it is wonderful. It's wonderful. I can't recommend this enough. This is the Mega Slicks lip gloss. This was just the clear. This is such a good lip gloss. It's great on its own. It adds this nice shininess to the lips, lots of hydration, smells really, really good. You can layer it over a liquid lipstick or lipstick for a, glo for a gloss. I love this and I wanna say this is like $3. I will be buying this again. I would actually like to test out some of their tinted shades. I'm on a lip no buy, so when I'm no longer on a lip no buy, she's a repurchase. One more makeup product, this is from Clinique. This is the High Impact Liquid Liner. I use felt tip liquid liners every single day. And this, I want to say, came in a subscription box. I would not have purchased this. I don't really buy from Clinique. It was a decent felt tip liner. Not my favorite. I love Essence liner and it's $3. This is probably in the 20s. So I wouldn't buy this again because I would prefer to buy just my drugstore felt tip liners that work even better. This one did skip a little bit and took a little bit of work to get a nice wing where the Essence just glides on beautifully. Actually, the Essence is what I have on today. So this I probably wouldn't buy only because I like drugstore better. And last but not least, we are through a massive pile of empties. This is a cuticle oil from the brand Flower. This smells so good. It smells like lime. 
like key lime pie. I use a cuticle oil every single day. I just rub it into my cuticles. I have pretty dry cuticles, so by using an oil every day, they're nice and hydrated. I really like this. I think I bought this on Amazon. I don't really know where this came from. Actually, I'm not for sure where this came from. It might have came in a subscription box. I don't know, but I love it. I love the scent of it. It was hydrating. Definitely would repurchase. Okay, I lied. That wasn't the last item. As I was putting my empties back in the basket, I found one more. This is from Essence, and this is their Clear Brow Gel. This came in my Essence Advent Calendar. It was a fine clear brow gel. I like how small the wand is because you're really able to get in there and put it through the brows. I would buy this again if I wanted a new clear brow gel because it's super affordable and it worked just as well as any other clear brow gel. Held my brows in place, didn't make them crunchy, but held them in place. So yeah, I would buy this. Those were all of my empties for February and I'm so happy that I went through all this product. It makes me feel really good about my goal to use up what I have this year and we made a big dent in February. So again, I will link everything down below for you if you're interested in picking up any of these items, any discount codes that I have, it'll all be down below for you, as well as my favorite beauty subscription boxes. All of the makeup that I'm wearing today, if you want to shop this look, discounts to my favorite indie brands, and come follow me on TikTok for more beauty and makeup. So that's a wrap on an over full basket of empties for February.